Today we celebrate the feast of St. James the Apostle, St. James the Greater, and uh, we know that St. James was amongst the uh, group of disciples that was very close to Jesus. Uh, of course, St. James was the brother of St. John, and with St. John and St. Peter, St. James was one of the apostles that witnessed our Lord's transfiguration on Mount Tabor. And we know that St. James, uh, again with St. Peter and St. John, were uh, the three who were closest to Jesus during his uh, agony and passion in the garden uh, 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 of olives at the night of his passion. St. James, uh, we know, uh, after our Lord's ascension into heaven, uh, went on uh, to, uh, to preach the gospel uh, in, the, uh, in the country of Spain. And he labored there for several years in Spain. And uh, there is several beautiful things in Spain associated with St. James. In uh, the city of Zaragoza, uh, which is in the uh, uh, south, southeast of Spain, uh, St. James was becoming discouraged in the year 40 in his labors in Spain, not uh, uh, really seeing much fruit in his preaching and labors in the gospel. And Our Lady appeared to St. James. It's the first recorded apparition of Our Lady. She actually, she didn't appear to, uh, was not an apparition rather, but she bilocated uh, to St. James and she gave him a very special uh, uh, item to, to encourage him and she gave him a pillar and, uh, and uh, this pillar uh, was uh, miraculous. And uh, in Zaragoza, there is a, a magnificent basilica church built uh, there where, where Our Lady appeared to St. James to encourage him in his labors. And she had told him actually there to go back to Jerusalem. But the pillar is very miraculous and um, some very special miracles have happened there. Uh, uh, one of the first was a man who had lost his leg. His leg had been amputated, and he went there to the shrine, and his, his leg was miraculously restored. And uh, many uh, uh, great saints went there. Saint uh, Pope John Paul II visited there many times, but, and I was, pri I was privileged myself to go there twice. But the pillar uh, is, in a little, is in a special chapel, uh, where there's a beautiful statue of Our Lady and the Child Jesus, but from the back of that ch chapel, you can actually uh, go and kiss the pillar uh, which Our Lady gave to St. James. And uh, this church was bombed, uh, was attempted to be bombed by the uh, communists during the Spanish Revolution, and the, none of the bombs actually exploded. The bombs actually went through the ceiling of the church, and they have the uh, still, the, uh, they left where the bombs went through the ceiling of the church and they did not explode. And, and one bomb landed outside on the pavement and that bomb uh, made uh, a mark after it, it, it did, not detonate, did not detonate either, but it made from the crash, uh, made the, the cross on, on the pavement. Uh, and they have the bombs actually hanging up in the church. Uh, uh, of, of this beautiful church of Our Lady of Zaragoza, Our Lady of the Pillar, uh, where Our Lady appeared to St. James and told him to go back to Jerusalem. And when he returned to Jerusalem, uh, he labored there for just a few years. St. James was the first of the apostles to offer his life for Christ. He was beheaded by Herod Agrippa. And uh, other of the disciples took the body of St. James on a boat, and the boat went back to Spain uh, they went back to Spain, and his body was buried in a field. And uh, it wasn't until several uh, years later that a, uh, a, a hermit was guided to the field where St. James' bo body had been buried. And he was guided by a star. A star guided him uh, to where he discovered the body of St. James. And of course, that is where the great basilica is of uh, St. Uh, Santiago de Compostela. Uh, St. James uh, of Compostela. Of course, Compostela meaning land or field of the star, uh, where the star had guided this hermit to where St. James' body is. And of course, there's a magnificent basilica buried there where over 100,000 pilgrims go each year, and it's one of the most famous places of pilgrimage. People 
going by foot uh, traditionally from various parts of Europe, from, from, uh, especially from France, uh, and uh, walking uh, the, uh, the, uh, the way to Compostela uh, uh, to honor this great saint, an apostle who gave his life for Christ uh, at, this beautiful, uh, 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 at this beautiful spot. Uh, where, where, his body is, where his body is still kept. And of course, on this day in Compostela, uh, there's a magnificent uh, 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 celebration. And in the church, of course, is the famous uh, thurible that swings, the, the uh, lar uh, extremely large thurible that swings through the church uh, 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 on this day in honor of this great saint. We can ask St. James today to pray for us that that we may never get discouraged in our labors for Christ. As he was discouraged, Our Lady appeared to him to encourage him. We also know that Our Lady is with us to encourage us in our labors for Christ, that we may never give up in our labors in giving witness to Christ and proclaiming the, the gospel in our daily life. And that uh, like him, Our Lady is there to help us with all the graces we need to persevere to the end faithfully. May. St. James, pray for us that we never tire of laboring for Christ and even uh, recognizing there is nothing insignificant that above all our prayers are necessary uh, to bring the conversion of sinners back to Christ. As Our Lady always reminded us at Fatima, uh, many people go to hell because there is no one to pray and do penance for them. Let us at least make our efforts to pray for poor sinners uh, that, that through our, lab our, prayer, our life of prayer, many may come back to Christ and return, return to him. Uh, may St. James uh, pray for us uh, that we may be victorious to the end in following Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit.